The Sheriff's Animal Farm started in 1994, shortly after the jail was constructed. As far as I know, this is the only facility of its kind in the country and maybe even the world. I have not found anywhere else that has a petting zoo at a jail. This is an animal sanctuary and we take in animals that have been abandoned, abused, confiscated, or donated. They come to us because they need a home and we give them a forever home. And we currently have about 150 animals, 45 different species here at the farm. We have goats, sheep, pigs, donkeys, miniature horses. We also have some of our more exotic animals like lemurs, kinkajous, an ostrich, an emu named Kramer, and we have our armadillos named Cricket and Hank. The inmates working on the farm benefits the farm because we have a workforce that can actually help care for the animals so that I don't have to do it all by myself. And it's beneficial to the inmates because they get to be outside, they get to work with the animals, they get to feel like they're making a difference. What I do for the animals is I'll feed them, change their water, clean out their cages, brush them, play with them. It's calming. It keeps you out of trouble. It keeps your mind focused. You know, you're in the outside world. Get your bowl. Give me your bowl, buddy. There you go. <laughs> That's your boy. That's your big boy. <laughs> the farm is open to the public second and fourth Sunday of each month from 1 to 3, and the visitors absolutely love to come and see the animals. The children are excited. They come see their favorite animals. They always run over to whatever their favorite animal is. Big, bad, alligator. As a matter of fact, when I get out, I'm hoping to visit the farm to do some more work on the farm, play with the animals some more, you know, so they won't forget me.